It's the new 2K guy putting out these videos, helping the community. And you mad because I'm helping my slashes? Fuck out of here. We about to take over on this 2K thing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't post videos every single day. I refuse to put out a video just to get views, just to get oh, subs. I want to no. put out good content. So when you come to my page, shit is going to be lit for your slashes. And what y'all think about this little duel right here? LeBron and Kobe versus Jordan and Pippen. Who you going for? All three of these builds can shoot. Gotcha, bitch. They can't shoot open threes. It's, it's difficult, you know, but off the dribble, all three builds, any slasher can shoot off the dribble. It's weird as hell. You'll miss an open shot, but you'll make it off the dribble. Out of all three builds, the best contested and open three is a point guard slasher, which is 68. The other ones, shooting guard and small forward is a 58, bro. You're going to be shooting bricks. Shout out to anybody that just recently subscribed to this channel. Small is liking these videos, is sharing these videos. You very small. So you're debating whether to pick a point guard slash a shooting guard slash small forward slash it. The scissors, right? Three types of builds. We're gonna break this shit down together. The shortest point guard slasher can be five seven, fuck? or the max height can be up to 6'7". Shortest weight for a shooting guard slasher is 5'10", oh, or you can go no. up to 6'8". Shortest height for a small forward slasher is 6'3", or the max can go up to 6'10". Let's talk about badges between the three builds. They all get the same badges but one. Point guards and shooting guard slashers get the acrobat badge which a small forward slasher cannot get and a small forward slasher can get lob city finisher lob city finisher badge really helps in my part you slam that bitch down point guards and shooting guards cannot get every single dunk in this game Small forward slashers get almost every single dunk in this game. Use this website called NBA2KMyPlayer.com. Use that as a blueprint and then go from there. Just know that if you change the height, the weight, it changes your whole character, all the ratings. But you also can level out depending on what you want. You either want to be tall or you want to be fast. You want to have strength. You can't have it all. Just know that. Say, say fucking McDonald's. But what is the point of making this giant? If you're just gonna get blown away by a push, do not, do not make a tall ass player with some young ass boy arms. He better not have an arm strength of a seven year old. You're wasting your VC. Listen to me, bro, listen to me. If not, go ahead, waste all your VC, go to the park, and tell me how many bodies you catch compared to having a good weight. Now, if you're gonna be a point guard, you're gonna have a better contested three than those other two. If you're gonna be a shooting guard, you're gonna have a better mid range and your speed and acceleration and vert is gonna be high. And if you're a small forward, you're gonna be a beast inside the paint and your contact and strength is gonna be really high. It all depends on height. You guys gotta remember this. The height thing, it, it's insane how it can change a character. It goes hand to hand. What I'm gonna say is for creating your character, debate what do you want? You want to have ball control, you want to dunk, or you want to shoot. Then, once you figure that out, you go to the height. Do I want more strength, or do I want more speed? That's how you're going to create your character. It is all about that slash of gang, gang, gang. New fucking sheriff in town. <laughs> Nigga, do stuff. I'm going to try to do different builds. If you guys got questions, you can comment below, and I'll try to answer it as I always do in my videos. There's a new chef in town, bitch. Shut the fuck up. Hey! Thank you. Subscribe, share it. You're the best. Stay blessed. Who knows?